Lord, it's easy to see you and to give you praise on days that are beautiful and exciting like today. Uh, but God, I'm also really grateful for the hardships and the challenges that these men and women from Lima Company face over the last six weeks. God, they saw your presence while they were running our hills, hiking up to name, while they had their face in the mud of the water. Lord, I'm grateful for your presence there as well. You did not abandon them. Things were their most difficult. So, Lord, I know that we can trust you with them as they're moving forward in their lives and their careers. Lord, it couldn't have been done alone, so thank you for the OCS staff who have given their all to train every man and woman to bring out strength they didn't know they have. We are also grateful for the friends and families who are here today, who have been a source of strength and inspiration for these people. Lord, today is the first step in their journey, and moving forward, I pray that they will be strong and courageous. May they not be terrified or discouraged. For the Lord their God is with them. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. Today's ceremony begins with the introduction of staff and support of company elves. Drill instructors leave an indelible impression on young Americans wherever the reefs are born by fulfilling an essential and humanic role. They transform young men and women into smartly disciplined, physically fit, basically trained Marines who are thoroughly indoctrinated in love of corps and country. They demand of them and demonstrate by their own examples the highest standards of personal conduct, morality, and professional skill. Drill instructors serve as sergeant instructors at office candidate school and must use their unique talents, skills, and experience to screen and evaluate leadership potential in their officer candidates. The discipline and understanding of the ethos of the Marine Corps being instilled in the candidates is critical to the future of the Corps. Equally important is the awesome responsibility they assume by representing the staff non-commissioned officer corps to a new generation of Marine leaders. The officers beside them are the platoon commander, who are leaders chosen from every element of the Marine Corps for their moral, mental, physical, and leadership abilities. The performance of these qualities represent our school's motto, Ductus Exemplo, which is Latin for lead by example. Through the inspiring leadership and mentorship, Furthermore, every cycle a Marine is selected as an equal award recipient, 
as one who has selflessly and substantially contributed to the support and training of the officer candidates. These Marines and Sailors are the ones who, in the opinion of the seniors and peers, as well as the candidates, best demonstrates the passing of knowledge between instructor and student. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Hyman and Sergeant Major Beckett, the commanding officer and Sergeant Major of Officer Candidate School, will now present these awards. And salute. Good morning, sir. Ready, two. Staff Sergeant Boyd of Company L will receive the Marine Corps Association Outstanding Sergeant Instructor for the Cycling Award. Sergeant Garcia of the Physical Training Section will receive the Physical Training Instructor of the Cycle Award. First Sergeant Goldthwait of Lima Company will receive the Marine Corps Association Academic Instructor of the Cycle Award. Participating in today's parade are the Conoco Marine Corps Band and the TBS Artillery Instructor Battery. The candidate taking his position on the parade deck is the Commander of Troops for today's parade. He is Candidate Rosenthal of Lima Company, 2nd Platoon.
Joe Marine Corps Band, all present or accounted for. Company L, all present or accounted for. Sir, all present or accounted for. Publish the order.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Leadership Certificate. This certificate is presented to the candidate with the highest leadership average from platoon leaders class seniors. The Marine Corps Association Leadership Certificate recipient is candidate Benji from third platoon. He attained an overall leadership average of 96.23%. Thank you. 
Commodore's Trophy for PLC. The United States Marine Corps Commodore's Trophy is awarded to the candidate with the overall highest average in the platoon leader's class. The trophy was initiated in 1957 to recognize members of the platoon leader's class who have distinguished themselves at summer training. The candidate's university will receive the traveling trophy when a representative of the Commodore presents it to that university in the fall. The PLC senior recipient is candidate Benke from 3rd platoon. He attained an overall average of 94.68%. is a revolving award presented to the platoon that attains the highest total points for physical training. The company L recipient is third platoon. Presenting the award is Color Sergeant Carter, Royal Marine Commando, Physical Training Advisor for Officer Candidate School. Additional platoon achievement is a company close order drill award and was awarded to fourth platoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our award recipients.
ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a round of applause.
Thank you very much for doing your meeting for your other schools. On behalf of the Pentagon and Lieutenant General Himes, our CG at Training and Education Command, thank you for a job well done. For those of you that don't realize, based on the weather today, how much risk is incurred by putting these candidates into a high pressure cooker training environment out in the field where it's in the mid 90s, high humidity, 110 degree heat index, and train hours upon hours, and to get them all through here, 220 of them, officer candidates who will graduate and become future officers of the Marine Corps, that is a big deal. And Dave, I just want to personally say thanks to you and like I said, your staff for a job well done. Uh, this is a challenge. It's the end of six long cycles this summer where they have graduated not just this company, but probably another thousand officer candidates and second lieutenants. And Dave, the impact that it's going to have on the floor over the next several years cannot be overstated. So thank you very much. To the family and to the friends that are here for these candidates. In a nation where 99% of the population does not serve, only 1% does, I want to say thank you for supporting your young man or woman, your son or daughter, as they move out on their path to serve their nation. Only about a quarter of those that actually choose to serve become Marines. And out of that, perhaps one-tenth of that quarter of a percent are actually Marine officers. These are exceptional people that stand before you. And you should be exceptionally proud that they have volunteered to serve their nation in a very challenging time. The world is a dangerous place. It is a place that is ever more complex and filled with challenges for our nation and for our values. These young men and women have volunteered to hold high the torch of our core and our country around the world. And that is a huge responsibility, but one that they have proven that they are capable of carrying. And we are thrilled to have them in our ranks. And as Colonel Hyman said, it's not lost on any of us that wear this uniform, just how important it is that the families, the communities, the coaches, the friends, that help them through this process made them who they are today. And again, on behalf of the Marine Corps and our Commandant, I want to say thank you for your support, your love. Your candidates needed it during this last six weeks, and they will need it again in the future while they serve our nation. So thank you again for everything that you've done to set the foundation upon which we have built them into officer candidates and Marines. I do want to say I want to thank the band as well. Uh, they're great. They make every ceremony a celebration. And Marine Corps Band Quantico is one of our oldest bands, so thanks very much. Uh, drum major and conductor, fantastic chaplain. I don't know where you pulled this weather out from, but your prayers were answered. I think everybody's prayers. As Colonel Hyman said, uh, this is not a normal August day in Quantico, uh, but we're going to enjoy the heck out of it, and I know you are too. To the art uh, artillery instructional battery, thanks for that great salute. Uh, always get your heart pumping when the guns go off. So I'm going to talk to the candidates here just briefly. Good morning, Lima Company. 
I want to personally say congratulations on a job well done. You have proven that you have what it takes to stand amongst United States Marines and legends of our Corps. You are the future of the Corps. And if you ever had any doubt that you had what it took, I want to assure you that that doubt should have been removed by now. You have the stuff and the metal to lead Marines in both peace and in combat. You are candidates today, you are future Marine Corps officers. The only thing that many of you need to do is stay in school and get your degree so you can get your commission. So don't forget about that. Stay in school. But I want to remind you about some things. This awesome journey that you have embarked upon. I want to remind you of the oath of office that you will swear when you become a Marine officer. That you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that you will do it without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which you are about to enter. And your commission will talk about your special abilities and the special trust and confidence that our nation places in you because of your patriotism, valor, fidelity, and special abilities to discharge the duties that you have been charged to do in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. Your job is to make sure that you're ready. You proved over the last six weeks that you are physically and mentally tough. And you will need to take that and continue to build on it. Because as I mentioned, the world is a dangerous place. And the United States relies upon its Marine Corps as our expeditionary force in readiness, as a service charged with being the most ready when the nation is least ready, and the first to fight, they are relying upon you to be ready to go when the call comes. And you don't know when that call is going to come, but your job is to be ready. So when you leave here, Today, you're going to celebrate with your friends and families, and you deserve that. You have earned it. You have proved that you have the physical, mental, and moral capability and potential to lead Marines in peace and in war. And you need to continue to hone that, because there are enemies and adversaries in the world they want to do America harm. They want to harm American citizens and challenge our interests and our way of life. And you are our insurance policy. You are the ones who are going to stand aboard ship or in assembly areas in far off places waiting for the call. And your job is to make sure that you are ready when the call comes. You need to study. You need to challenge yourself physically. You need to maintain that moral compass. Know yourself. Seek self-improvement. Know your Marines. Love your Marines. No one does anything by themselves in the Marine Corps. It's all done as a team and as a unit. And your job is going to be to form and train your unit to be able to accomplish its mission. And then, with a clear conscience, commit your Marines and yourself to that mission, knowing that you have done everything you can to prepare them for that ultimate challenge. 
and to make sure that you are better than our adversaries so that you will prevail on the battlefields of the future. And I want to assure you again that you have what it takes to do just that. You will be joining the long lineage of Marine officers and Marines who have served our nation with distinction on the battlefield for the last 246 years. That legacy will be yours to uphold and to stay key. And the American people and your Corps are relying upon you to make sure that when your time comes, you are ready. So I just want to reiterate my congratulations from not just the entire OCS staff and the leadership of our Marine Corps, but thank you for volunteering for the challenge that you have just overcome. And thank you for volunteering to serve our great nation with honor, courage, and commitment. You have what it takes. You will succeed. You've already proven that you can overcome the worst challenges that we can offer in peacetime, and you will be ready. But stay focused. Like I said for most of you, stay in school, get your degree, so we can commission you and get ready to start that next leg of the journey at the basic school. Thanks again for everything that you've done for yourselves, slaying that dragon of self-doubt that Colonel Hyman talks about, and being ready to get after it in the future. Thanks again, Lima Company, to the families and friends of Lima. Enjoy today. This is your day. You've all earned it, and we're very, very proud of you. These new officer candidates who are now fully trained, just awaiting commissioning, can't wait to spend time with you and tell all about what they've experienced here and enjoy being with you while they start on this new phase of their life journey. Thanks very much, Lima Company, Fairwinds and Following Seas. Ladies and gentlemen, Semper Fidelis.
to every breeze, from dawn to setting sun. We have fought in every climb and place where we could take a gun. In the snow of far up northern lands and in sunny tropic seas, you find us always on the top, the United States Marines. Here's hell to you and to our core, which we are proud to serve. In many a strike we fought. Ah! <laughs> 